Hey, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to share seven free sewing patterns that are perfect for men. I've made sure all the patterns I'm gonna share are beginner friendly and I've left a link in the description box where you can find each pattern. So the first pattern I wanted to talk about is the Aerosmith Undershirt by Thread Theory. And it looks like such a great sleeveless top pattern that can be used as a summer tank. I really like how simple this tank feels and it has a really cute pocket detail on the front which would make such a nice feature of using like a standout fabric like they have in the photo. But if you want to make something that's a bit more classic, I found this black example online and it just looks like a really simple tank top but it feels like you can make this a bit more looser so it has a bit more of a relaxed fit. And then I also really like this white example where you could extend the shoulder and adjust the fit slightly so it feels a bit more stylish and a bit more of a modern cut. Yeah, overall, I think this is a really nice, simple tank top and you could definitely make this in so many different fabrics and different colors. The next pattern I wanted to talk about is the Brando Tee by Mood Fabrics. And again, this is another free pattern. So it's actually a unisex pattern that has a really nice, clean and simple shape. This one has slightly longer sleeves and I like how relaxed the fit looks. And then you can also play around with making it feel a bit more boxy and modern. This example is something that I really love because you can play around with color blocking the sleeves to make it feel a bit more playful. But overall, it's a really nice simple t-shirt and I like the fact it is unisex because you can sew it for lots of different people. The next example that I found is the Kyra shirt by Mood Fabrics. And again, this is another unisex pattern and I think it'd be such a nice staple shirt pattern. I really love this simple shape with the rolled up sleeves for a bit more of a casual look. And when you have simple garments like this in your wardrobe, you can definitely play around with using bolder fabrics to make it feel a bit more stand out. So I found this example on Instagram of someone that's sewn it for a man, and I just love how they've used such a bold fabric. It makes it feel so much more playful and fun, and I think this is such a great staple pattern that you can use over and over again. It is a unisex pattern, so I think it's such a versatile make, and I can't believe this is actually free. The next pattern I found is these pajama bottoms by Patterns for Pirates. And it's again, another unisex pattern. It feels like a very beginner friendly make. So it has no side seams and it has an elasticated waist. So it literally just slips on. I love in the example how they've used this plaid fabric. I think it looks really nice. And I was just thinking you could use the shirt pattern I just shared and make like a little pajama set in a comfy fabric. This is a great example of what I envisioned this would look like. I think in the right fabric and the right shade, this could look super stylish. And I just love this example so much. I did find someone styling this more of an outerwear piece, which I'm not sure exactly how it would work, but I like how you could use again, a plaid fabric and then maybe play with the fit so it doesn't feel so fitted and it's a bit more loose fitting. But again, I think this is another great free pattern that can definitely be hacked in so many different ways. So the next pattern I came across is the Boxwood Hoodie by Mood Fabrics. And I really like this silhouette. This has a boxy kind of style and they actually share instructions on their website on how to alter the original free pattern to have a bit more length of the sleeves and then adding a cute patch pocket at the front. I just think this looks like such a fun hoodie and I love how they've color blocked it in the example. I think that looks really modern and stylish. So I was thinking like such a nice pastel shade like this example looks so nice. I know the sleeves are a bit different so you would have to draft your own sleeves but other than that, I think this would be a great example of how you could hack this pattern and make it feel a bit more wearable. The next pattern I found is another t-shirt but this time I found a long sleeved one and it's called the men's t-shirt by DIBY Club. So this one has a bit more of a fitted shape and then it has a high crew neckline, which I really like. I think if you wanted to make this a bit more relaxed, you can maybe size up one or two sizes. Again, this is another staple t-shirt pattern and I love this example of using like a khaki green shade, like a teal shade, because it's such a staple pattern that you can definitely just sew this in so many different colors and different fabrics and get lots of different variations in your wardrobe. A lot of the free patterns for men's are actually t-shirts and I came across another one called the Sage Tee by LB Textiles. And this is another basic t-shirt pattern, but it looks a bit more clean and modern. I love it in pattern imagery when they just get the fabric and the fit right. And this looks so good on the model. But yeah, it's just a simple t-shirt pattern. And then they've also shared this black example that I really like. But in the black example, you can actually see the neckline looks slightly wider. And I'm not sure if they've adjusted the pattern just for this example. I really like how this looks and I think you can make so many different variations of this. I hope you enjoyed my roundup of seven free sewing patterns for men. I know a lot of them are t-shirts, but I couldn't actually find any ones out there that weren't. It would be interesting to see if there's any trouser patterns out there. I did find one on Mood Fabrics' website, but I wasn't a huge fan of it. It felt a bit old fashioned to me. Maybe that's something I can come up with, a free trouser pattern for men. Let me know in the comments if you'd like that. I really enjoyed filming this. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. I'll see you in the next one.